Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to cover partial derivatives, which is in the math section. Uh, it does show up a lot in the FE exam questions. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your FE exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. And let's get started. Oh yeah, Okay guys, so partial derivative. So you have a little bit of like concept here in the reference manual on page 31. So there isn't really like much here, but let's do it together and you guys will see how we're going to do this problem. A lot of my students got this question on their test. So to take the partial derivative with respect to x, meaning if I have y or z, those are going to be considered as a constant because I'm not taking the derivative with respect to y or z. I'm only taking the derivative with respect to x. Everything else, any other variable, it's going to be considered as a constant. Just keep that in mind. And derivative of a constant is usually zero, right? Okay, so let's take the first term. So we have x squared times y cubed. Usually when you have two terms multiplied, right? We do the uh, product rule. If you have one number or one function divided by the other function, we do the quotient rule. So the product rule tells us that you take the derivative of the first term, then you multiply by the second term, then you add the derivative of the second term and you multiply it by the first term as it is. You don't take the derivative of this first term. So if we look at x squared y cubed, technically what I should do is take the derivative of x squared first, multiply it by y cubed, then add to it x squared, and then multiply by the derivative of y cubed, because that's the product rule, right? So let's do that together. So if I take the derivative of x squared, that's going to be 2x, right? Times y cubed, because I'm not going to take the derivative of y cubed. And then I'm going to add x squared. I'm going to leave x squared as it is, and then take the derivative of y cubed. Well, y cubed, as we mentioned in the beginning, anything that doesn't have x is going to be treated as a constant. And derivative of constant is zero. So derivative of y cubed is just going to be zero, right? So that's it. So, or you could just be a little bit faster during the exam and just do 2x times y cubed. And you know that y cubed is just a constant. So you treat it as like if it if this is four. So if this was four, you're just gonna do technically 2x times four. And you're just gonna move on, right? You're not going to do any products rule because you just treat it as a constant. So you could think about it either way and just do whatever helps you. Okay, so now let's do the second term. So the second term, I'm going to take the derivative of x only. It's all I care about. Derivative of x is just one. So I'm just going to have y to the power of four. Now we have sine of x. Well, derivative of sine, it's actually cosine. So we're going to do plus cosine of x. So that one is easy. Derivative of the trigonometry functions, they're all on the reference manual, guys. Take a look at it after you watch this video. Okay, so cosine squared of x, so this one is a little bit tricky. So the derivative of cosine, it's minus sine. So I'm going to bring the 2 down first. So I have minus 2. Then I have cosine of x. And then times the derivative of cosine, which is minus sine. That's why I have a minus here. Minus sine of x. So that would be the derivative of cosine squared of x. Then I have sine cubed of y. y is treated here as a constant. So that's going to be zero, so plus zero. So that's it. So the answer is going to be A. If you guys want some practice problems, you can visit my website, just scroll all the way to the bottom, sign up or enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. Okay guys, so that'll be it for today. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Everybody now.